Hi, I'm Steve Arajo, and I'm at the Live at Leo studio on Fender Avenue in Fullerton, California. Today, we're going to take a look at the new CLF Research L1000 bass from GNL. The L1000 was the first bass model from the new GNL brand launched by Leo Fender in 1980 and manufactured in his CLF Research Factory on Fender Avenue in Fullerton, California. This new bass benefited from Leo's nearly 30 years experience pioneering breakthrough musical instruments, including the electric bass, an instrument he invented. The L1000 was a technological tour de force, featuring several new technologies developed by Leo in the late 1970s. These include the magnetic field design pickup, satellite bridge, and ultralight tuners. These technologies were the direct result of his passion for creating the very best instruments for musicians. The magnetic field design pickup technology offered more power than his earlier designs, but with a smoother, more even response. The magnetic field design, or MFD, delivered an almost magical balance of fat bottom end while projecting clear, articulated highs. The Satellite Bridge was Leo's ultimate solution for capturing string energy and transferring it to the body. The ultralight tuners featured a machined aluminum string post for light weight, and the post was tapered to direct the string winds down toward the headstock, improving string pressure on the nut and enhancing tone and sustain. From headstock to bridge, Leo's new L1000 bass was brimming with technology designed to improve the player experience. The L1000 and the new GNL brand was born at the dawn of a new decade. The 70s were behind us, and as new musical styles were rapidly evolving, musicians looked for new aesthetics for the new decade. The L1000 captured that spirit with its clean, functional, and no-nonsense style. Nothing was missed. Check out these CLF Research knobs. They are truly things of beauty, each immaculately machined from aluminum stock, chrome-plated, and polished to perfection. A marker is milled in, making it easy for the player to visualize the position of the knob, rather than the heavily textured knurling as on his earlier machine knobs, a sleek, fluted texture is a tactile delight while remaining grippy even with a sweaty hand. Rather than a dome top, this knob has a tented shape. All in all, this knob is a work of modern art and demonstrates his commitment to progress. Musicians were also looking for new sounds. The synthesizer was gaining popularity in music, and this technological revolution informed the sensibilities of guitarists and bassists. The L1000 was a fresh experience for a new decade, delivering a sonic palette far broader than his earlier work with single, centrally located pickups. Yes, that means a modernized P-Bass. Now let's hear it in action.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>